definitely a big part of that. And before I do that, Professor, I have to ask you about the accusation that's sure. been leveled against you. I am, I am um, a victim of the Me Too movement. Well, sure. Virginia Roberts has named many powerful men um, as people that she says she was directed to have sex with by right. Jeffrey Epstein. What do you say to this? Well, I never met the woman. I never heard of her. I never met her. And she, we got some emails recently that were sealed. They tried to seal it. They first tried to deep six it. We subpoenaed the emails. The, the lawyers for her said they didn't have any, but we finally got them. And in the emails, she admits that in 2011, which is nine years after she claimed she had sex with me seven different times in places I never was at, islands, ranches, airplanes, in front of my own house, she said I had sex with her. Uh, and then she came into my house. At the time, I had a young daughter. We had video surveillance. In any event, she said she had sex with me in 2002. Then in 2011, she writes an email proving she never heard of me. She has to be told, oh, Dershowitz, he's the guy who represented Klaus von Bülow. He's famous. You should put him in your book. This is all in emails. You should put him in your book because he will help you sell the book. So then she puts me in the book as someone she did not have sex with. She said she had sex with Professor Steve. She said she had sex with uh, Leslie Wexner. She said she had sex with George Mitchell. She said she had sex with Bill Richardson. She said she had sex with um, you name it. But she said she did not have sex with me. She once met me with Jeffrey Epstein. Then when she meets her lawyers a few years later, Suddenly, she remembers. She gets woke. She remembers. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy I never heard of. I had sex with him seven times. Uh, and how anybody could believe this is remarkable to me. So I hired the former head of the FBI, Louis Free, who was a former federal judge. And I said, here, you do this. I'm not going to even talk to you. I'm not going to be involved with you. Here are all my travel records. You do an investigation. He did an investigation. He said there was absolutely no truth to the charges. I was never on the places she said she was. I have all my travel records to prove it. What is her background? Her background is she gets paid $160,000 by the Daily Mail in order to lie about who she met on Jeffrey Epstein's Island. So she said she met Tipa Gore and Al Gore on Jeffrey Epstein's Island. There's only one problem. Neither of them ever met Jeffrey Epstein. They were never on the island, and Secret Service records prove it. They say, and here some of you will probably have some skepticism, uh, she said in the same article that she had twice dinner with Bill Clinton in the presence of two underage girls, and Bill Clinton had been flown to the island in a black helicopter with Secret Service agents, piloted by a woman who had just gotten her license, her pilot's license. So we, of course, filed FOIA requests, Freedom of Information requests, and they proved he had never been on the island. He had been on his airplane, but never been on the island. So on the one hand, you have the word of a serial liar with no evidence, no proof, no witnesses. On the other side, you have overwhelming evidence of innocence that I never met her, and yet you go on Twitter, and I'm a pedophile, I'm a child rapist, I'm you name it, uh, and you can't get the media to tell this story. When I got these emails, I thought, oh my God, for sure, everybody would want to write the story. This is a woman who's been proved to be a liar. I could not get anybody in the media to write the story. I hope maybe some of you are out there from the media who would be interested in writing the story. I'd be happy to cooperate with you. But people ask me today on CNN, um, how will I get my name cleared? I said, my name's been cleared. I'm not, I don't have to clear my name. Uh, I've proved my innocence beyond any doubt. She has no proof of my guilt? Why is anybody believing her? The burden now is on the people to explain why they don't look at the evidence. But we live in a world where evidence no longer matters. We live in a post-truth world where identity politics prevails over everything else. And I'm going to fight that in my own case. I'm going to fight it in anybody else's case. The Me Too movement is great. It's wonderful. They have made people responsible for acts they've done in the past. By the way, in every Me Too case, the accuser and the accused knew each other. There was a relationship. Was it a consensual? Was it non-consensual? There was always a relationship. Mine is the only case where there is no evidence, because it didn't happen, that I ever met this woman or saw her or she ever saw me. So it's a remarkable case because it's totally black and white. Why do you think that she's accusing you versus some of, you know, the pre President Trump or Bill Clinton, some of these others that she's 
she no longer says well, she did told, any wrongdoing. She doing. told her best friend that, and we have it on tape. She told her best friend that she accused me because her lawyers pressured her into it because here was the plot. There's a very wealthy man. He owns Victoria's Secret. His name is Leslie Wexner. Lives in Columbus, near Columbus, Ohio. So the plan was a very simple plan. Name Dershowitz in public, then go, lawyers, privately, secretly to Wexner and say to Wexner, you saw what happened to Dershowitz? You want that to happen to you? There are ways of resolving this. And that's what happened. We have the chronology, we have the dates, we have the time. We know that her lawyer went to speak to Wexner's lawyer. Wexner's lawyer used the word shakedown when he spoke to me about it. Wexner's wife used the word shakedown. So I was the perfect stalking horse for an extortion plot. As soon as this happened, I took the case to the U.S. Attorney's Office, I took the case to the District Attorney's Office, and I said, I want you to investigate me, and I want you to investigate the lawyers, and I want you to investigate my accusers, and I hope they do. Thanks for answering this question. Thank you. And thank you for giving me an opportunity yes. to set the record straight. I'm uh, going to do a hard 